Welcome, the phone is a Samsung Galaxy A30s and today I'll show you how to set up and enable the do not disturb mode. So to get started you want to pull down the notification panel, extend it once more and you should find do not disturb mode somewhere in those apps. So for me it's right here, do not disturb mode and you can simply tap on it to enable it however it's set by default and you can also hold it where it will take you to the settings. So here you'll be actually able to customize it further. Let me just disable it at the moment. So allow exceptions. Uh, that is uh, probably the one of the more important ones. So in the exceptions, you can set up how each aspect of the do not disturb mode is uh, working. For instance, call and messages, you can choose uh, how it's affected. At uh, the moment, no one can reach you on the, once the uh, do not disturb mode is enabled but i can change it for instance to only allow favorite contacts that you have added as a favorite or just your contact so anybody who's added to your contact list will be able to reach you all all which just simply defeats the purpose of this mode so choose whichever one you want for instance i would say favorite might be good enough uh, messages have the same option so you can choose whatever you want then you have this option right here repeat colors that is also a nice one uh, now right here it's set to 15 minutes uh, and you cannot change that that's a little bit uh, i would say the, the 15 minute period time is a little bit too long in my opinion but just so you know what it does basically if uh, someone calls you even though for instance you have a favorite contact enabled only and they're just your contacts not your favorite one if they call twice within the 15 minute period they will actually be able to reach you the second time around as long as they call within the 15 minute period twice so it's a good option but uh, the 15 minute period in my opinion is a little bit too long because usually you would expect someone to call you uh, in quick successions uh, when it's an emergency i would say and 15 minute period time is uh, probably as mm, a bank call can bank can call you within a 15 minute period time twice so uh, it seems kind of useless in this case with that amount of time and you have lower event task uh, alerts you can enable that or disable if they're ringing during the do not disturb mode and then reminders now by an, by switching it on that will mean that they will be enabled so you will actually hear them uh, then you also have uh, alarms media and touch sounds now all preference here now once you are set up with this you can go back and then you can also set up a schedule right here so you can tap on it touch it to edit it and right here number one days of the week so choose the days that you want it to be enabled now it looks like this is a sleep schedule now i'm gonna set it up to be a work schedule so monday through friday uh, let's just set a time. So start time. I want it to start at 9 9 a.m. End time 5 oops, 5 p.m. There we go. And up on done. And now the do not disturb mode will turn on every single day from Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. And it will be affected by by these right here so exceptions so whatever we have set right here and that is how you would set it up so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching